Our group is to present a case study about hepatitis. The case is about a 20-year-old sexually active male who consulted because of yellowish discoloration of skin and sclera and tea-colored urine. He went to seek consult and underwent workups for hepatitis. He denies eating food in the cafeteria. The disease diagnosed as hepatitis due to some factors like the table showed along with the client's case. It is shown in the table that the client is positive for HBSAG, IgM anti-HBC, and HbEAG. This test indicates that in HbSAG, the client is positive for acute and chronic HBV infection, high infectivity, and chronic HBV infection, low infectivity. While in IgM anti-HBC, the client has acute HBV infection, high infectivity. Lastly, in HbEAG test, the result was acute and chronic HBV infection, high infectivity. Hepatitis A can be transmitted through ingesting contaminated food and water or by anal-oral contact during sex. Hepatitis B, on the other hand, is a sexually transmitted disease. It is spread by contact with an infected person's blood, semen, other body fluids, or it can be transmitted by the infected mother to her fetus. You can get Hepa B and C by having unprotected sex or sharing drug needles. You can get Hepa D if you are already infected with Hepatitis B. It is spread through contact with infected blood, dirty needles that have HDV on them, and unprotected sex with the person infected. Lastly, you can get Hepatitis E by drinking water infected with HEV. One of the most severe type of Hepatitis is Hepa B. It has 350 million chronic carriers worldwide. The HBV infects the liver and causes problems like cancer. Those groups who are high risk of acquiring hepatitis, especially Hepa B, are those who are sexually active with more than one partner, healthcare workers, infants born to infected mothers, injection drug users, and those people who belong to endemic areas. To prevent different types of hepatitis, it should always be automatic for us to frequently wash our hands, eat well-cooked food, and drink clean water, practice safe sex by not sharing personal items, and limiting alcohol and fatty intake. Hepatitis A resolves themselves spontaneously. The only treatment for hepatitis B is rest. The only approved treatment for hepatitis C is interferon. Currently, there is no effective treatment for hepatitis D and E. For HEPA A, short mild flu, nausea, jaundice, and loss of appetite are some of the signs and symptoms that may be experienced by the client. There are rarely any complications with HEPA A. Permanent damage to the liver is very unlikely, but it can be fatal in some cases, especially for the elderly. Symptoms like itching, pain over the liver location, dark urine, and jaundice can be seen to people with hepatitis B. Adults are more likely to be infected by children. Symptoms may develop one to four months after infection to virus. Hepatitis C usually produces no symptoms during its early stages. 
When signs and symptoms do occur, they're generally mild and flu-like and may include fatigue, fever, nausea, and tenderness in liver area. Hepatitis D and E include symptoms such as fever, nausea, jaundice, abdominal pain, and diarrhea. In this case, we have concluded that the client suffered from hepatitis B because aside from the laboratory test shown, the client manifests symptoms that can be seen in the HEPA B. It is also said that the client is sexually active and HEPA B is the only kind of hepatitis that is sexually transmitted. On the other hand, you can only acquire hepatitis C and D if you have been infected with HEPA B. Aside from that, other symptoms like discoloration of the skin and sclera can be found in hepatitis B. The nurse should instruct the patient to avoid alcoholic drinks, have a balanced diet, and practice good hygiene. The client should also know the signs and symptoms of hepatitis to avoid the spread of disease. Use antiseptic cleansers to clean any toilet, sink, potty chair, or bedpan used by someone in the family who develops hepatitis, especially the patient.